Hey everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. Uh, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, again, welcome. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thanks so much. Uh, I really appreciate the support. So today I'm going to be doing something different. Uh, I'm involved in a collaboration, believe it or not, for Halloween. So we're gonna do a cook um, with some other YouTube cooks based around some uh, spooky looking food. So it's kind of fun, something different to do, kind of a little project. I think the hashtag is gonna be hashtag spooky food. We haven't 100% confirmed that yet, but by the time I get this video up, um, it'll be correct. So once you see the hashtag in the description, just click on that. It'll take you to all the other videos um, and we can have some fun, uh, see what everybody else did. So stay tuned, I'll get this started here in a sec and we'll see what we get. Okay, so these are the ingredients I've decided to use uh, for my uh, hashtag spooky food video. Um, I have a head of cauliflower, I have some cocktail onions, I have some burger meat, I have some red food coloring, and uh, half a cup of panko, and an egg. So stay tuned and we're going to get started on this. I'm not going to share my uh, idea yet, but you'll kind of see it as it unfolds. So be back here in a sec. Okay, let's get rolling with this. I have here one pound of hamburger. Um, this is 85.15. I'm gonna add one egg to the party. It's a, essentially, this is a version of a meatloaf. I'm gonna put in a half a cup of panko. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of Uncle Steve's sweet and spicier uh, rub. This stuff is really good, adds a nice color dimension, and it's not too hot. And then we're just gonna mix, mix, mix a roux, technical term. You guys have all done this before, no big secret. Uh, I'll get this uh, mixed up here in a second, I'll be right back, stay tuned. Okay, so I've taken this cauliflower, I've boiled it for eight minutes, and then I let it set in a nice bath uh, for about a half an hour. You want this to be chilled. You don't want it to still be warm. Uh, so the meat will adhere. And now I'm just going to start to cover this guy with some flesh. Okay, so I've tried to make this as evenly uh, spread as possible. And we're gonna leave the skull exposed. This is gonna be some of the brain matter coming out. Now we're gonna add a couple of dead eyes. And I've just used some cocktail onions for this. Kind of burrow those down in. Like so. And now we want a couple of teeth. So I'm going to use some onion. Oops. Stick that on there like that. This might be a fun project to do with the kids. So those are gonna be the teeth. These are gonna be the eyeballs. A little bit close together, but what the heck. This is just a fun project. And now, since we have some of the brain matter exposed, 
I think it would be appropriate if it was bleeding. Little bloody brain action. Perfect. And then, like I say, I'll use some uh, barbecue sauce at the end. So uh, stay tuned. We'll get this thing out on the rec tech. I'm going to cook this for one hour at about 360 degrees. And uh, the cauliflower obviously is already cooked, but I want to make sure the ground beef uh, gets brown and gets up to about 165 degrees. So stay tuned. We'll get it outside and we'll see what we get. Boo. Okay, I've got Angus set at 360. Uh, its actual temp is 360, so let's get Mr. Skull Brain put on here. I'm just gonna set him in the middle, and um, I'm gonna let him, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I, I can't imagine it would take more than 45 minutes or so, uh, but I'll keep checking the temp, make sure the meat's up to, uh, I say, 165 degrees. We'll get it inside and uh, add our final blood coming out of the brain matter. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. So it's been 45 minutes at 360. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, he's looking good in the neighborhood. Let's just see what we're temping here. 122. I want to make sure I'm just getting the meat. There we go. 140. 152 try to get these thicker parts so it's about I don't know it's averaging about 140 degrees or so I'm gonna give this another 15 minutes get it inside and we'll see what we get stay tuned okay boys and ghouls here we have it our skull has separated our brain matters coming out it's oozing some I don't know, whatever that ooze is that comes out of there, we might call it barbecue sauce. Uh, a couple onions, this thing's awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna take a taste to this. Uh, we're gonna head down to a party here in a little bit. I'm gonna take this down. Uh, once again, just to review, I took a, uh, a head of cauliflower and uh, boiled it for eight minutes, put it in a bath of ice water for 45 minutes so it gets nice and cold, covered it in ground beef, put it in my rec tech at uh, 360 degrees, whoa, 360 degrees for uh, almost an hour. And I kept checking the temp on the meat. Obviously the uh, cauliflower was already done. So uh, I just want to get the meat up to a safe 165. So it's a total success. I think it's awesome. It's a fun project. So, uh, so hashtag spooky foods. It's going to be in the description. Click on that. You can see what the, uh, the other cooks did. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So this would be a great project for you to do with your kids and uh, kind of get the family together. So anyway, thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, I really appreciate you stopping by. If you're a returning subscriber, really appreciate the support. Uh, everybody stay safe, and we'll see you next time.